Hello everyone, this is Jordan at Pure Elliott Wave, and I wanted to run you through some of our summary data for our calls in the gold market the past three weeks. It has been pretty choppy, but I want to show you what our roadmap looked like. Before I get into that, let's talk about our new gold daily service coming from our new analyst, Jack Frost. It's going to be a five times per week analysis with text and charts each of those five days and on Friday you will get a full-length video breaking down the weekly to the hourly charts at the Elliott Wave and technical levels. This is going to be released next month in July and we will have a special once only grandfather rate which will only be available for 48 hours. If you want to sign up for that list you can click on the link in the description below right now to be notified. We won't spam you, don't worry, but just click on this link either on our homepage or the link below and you'll get notified next month for this limited time grandfather rate. So with that being said, let's jump into our summary charts for the past few weeks. All right, so we are gonna pick up our story on the 5th of June, that is Monday of 2023 and you can see we had a forecast of a potential completed impulse and a correction to ensue shortly we had a clear invalidation overhead and a best fit channel so let's see what jack did over the next few days we're first expecting this bounce let's see how price did on tuesday on tuesday we're still expecting that bounce we are maintaining our outlook until this best fit channel gets breached and Wednesday we have a first downward leg now this would frighten some traders some might stop out but we maintain our position until we get a clear picture moving forward or a clear structure on Thursday we have a large green candlestick was a bullish engulfing and our outlook still remains the same and the best fit channel is still intact Friday, just a small red candlestick. Our outlook remains the same. On the next day, we move up the best fit channel. It fits the recent candlesticks a little bit tighter. And then when we have a clear breach, it will be evident. All right, and now we have our first candlestick that is solidly below, but it is still touching the channel. At this time, we're looking at this structure, seeing if it could potentially be the correction being complete and then on the next day Wednesday we have a candlestick below and not touching now this leads us to change our outlook to a little bit more bearish and you'll see over the past two weeks what has happened on the next day Thursday we have shifted our outlook and labeled the corrective structure complete we're maintaining that outlook on Friday, and let's see what happens over the next week. Monday, a little bit of downward movement. We're maintaining below the best fit channel. On Tuesday the 20th, we have some continuation downward, which is a good sign for our outlook. The next day, we are continuing downwards and the outlook remains the same. We're getting to more recent time now. Thursday, 22nd of June, we had a nice down leg that covered about $20 of movement there. Now we have a correction and our outlook still remains the same. A little bit more of a correction. It does have some bearish upper wicks which support the outlook moving forward. And this is the last summary chart I have for you, but you can see yesterday and today we had much more bearish momentum. So you can see our analysis, not only on the gold market, but on a few of these markets recently have been exceptionally accurate. We're looking inside these candlesticks on the hourly charts to see exactly what Elliott wave structure they could be. We're using some of these best fit channels for confidence levels for those charts. And then we also add in the technicals, which we cover in depth, adding strength or weakness to the wave counts. So this short term 
bearish outlook actually came to fruition and we ended up changing our mind a few days into the outlook by how price was reacting relative to the technicals, the Elliott wave structure, and the best fit channel. So even though the market has been choppy recently, kind of uncertain, people are wondering if we'll make some new all-time highs. Elliott Wave provides some stability in these times, if not for the short term, also the longer term trends as well. So we are looking forward to see more great work from Jack Frost moving forward. If you want to get on our grandfather rate for the brand new five times a week gold analysis, then sign up with that link in the description below. That is all from me. This has been Jordan at Pure Elite Wave. Thank you.